Bertir Tumad. You are on all Manawi.
you have returned. The rule is still the same, you know. I am Siora, daughter of Vladne, daughter of Meb. My mother, the Maal of the Red Spears, was a member of the Council. All here remember, and the Vorscht Tirsi. She was a courageous Maal, but you are not yet Maal in her stead, and you do not carry her seal. I am sorry, Siora. I cannot allow you to enter. I beg your pardon. I did not know. If I cannot enter, perhaps you could... Glendon cannot speak with you, Legate. He only accepts to meet... How can I prove that I'm... If you are a trusted... I will then... I will return... If you have a seat... On all Manawi, my mother is still held in this outpost near the Gigador. I must do everything I can to free her from the Lion's Claws. So will you accompany me? We will do everything we can to free her. Do not worry. Let's go. You should speak to the Maul. I do not know anything. Halt! Who goes there? De Sade. I am the legate of the merchant congregation. Oh, well, you can come in, Your Excellency. 
But this savage, on the other hand... Am I the one you call a savage, Renaigse? This young lady is the princess of her people, and she is with me. As such, I would appreciate if you let us through. Very well, Your Excellency. Please go and find the captain. I'd feel better knowing that he gave you his endorsement. Your Excellency, what do you want? Allow me to introduce Siora, the daughter of Queen Bladnid, whom you faced on the battlefield. We understand that you brought her mother here, and I would like to negotiate her liberation. Her liberation? That'll prove difficult. She's dead. No! You! You let her die! You may even have finished her off like an agonizing animal! We didn't need to. When we collected her up from the battlefield, she was severely wounded. She died on the way to the camp. I want to see her body, Honol Manawi. Please, I must see her. Can we see her, Captain? If you're the one who's asking, Your Excellency, it should be possible. You're in luck. We were thinking about getting rid of it, but we received the order to keep her body. It's still at the infirmary. Ask the doctor. He'll show it to you. Thank you, Captain. Siora, I'm terribly sorry. Let's go see her now. I need to. My condolences, Siora. The infirmary must be the building on the right, near the camp entrance. Let's go. Who are you? Are you looking for a doctor? I am the legate of the congregation. And this is Siora, the daughter of the queen whose remains you're keeping. I would like to see her. I need to see her. Please. My condolences, madam. The body of your mother is back there in the room on the left. I should give you some privacy while you're mourning. We won't be far. And the worst here too, my dear. Men sit there then on me, Frichtemann. I must take her with me on Almanawi. We must perform the rituals. The captain said that he was instructed to keep her body. It will not be easy to convince him to disobey. I do not care about the captain's orders. She is my mother. She must be given back to the earth. So, let's go back to see him and try to make him change his mind. You can try, but with all due respect, I doubt that you will succeed. He will not want to draw attention to himself by disobeying this order. What do you mean? I believe he is a traitor, and that he made a deal with Telemi. Those are some serious accusations, even for a member of the Guard. Why would you believe such a thing? I overheard a conversation that got me thinking, and I also saw certain documents. We could use them to pressure him. Did you take them? No, that would be too risky. I do not want to get into trouble. But I suppose they would still be amongst his other belongings. Will they let us rummage through this place without protesting? Most of the Guards returned to Hikmet after the battle was over. If you are discreet, you should be able to enter the officer's building. Thank you for your help, Doctor. Shouldn't you ask the Captain first? Maybe he'll change his mind? You're right. Let's try talking to him before rummaging through the camp. Your Excellency, 
What do you want? We would like to retrieve the remains of the Queen. Bring her back to her people and her family. That will not be possible, Your Excellency. As I told you, the Governor specifically asked us to keep her. He wants her delivered to one of his scholars who wanted to study her. You have lost a lot of men in this battle. How would you feel if someone prevented you from giving them a proper burial? If you knew that their corpses were going to be given to some scholars to be dissected, wouldn't you want to have them back? The way I feel when it comes to my men does not concern you. I cannot give her back to you. End of discussion. Captain, I insist. Let us take this body with us. I have orders, Your Excellency. I've already told you. It is my mother we are talking about. My mother, whom you let die by dragging her all the way here. Give her back to me, or I swear that I will never leave you in peace. This isn't the right way to approach this, Siora. Come. This man is as cold as stone. I'm afraid we have no choice but to pressure him now, like the doctor told us. We will have to be discreet if we want to find these documents without getting caught. The doctor was right. They are trafficking weapons illegally with San Mateus. If word reaches Hikmet, these men will face a firing squad. But none of these documents are signed. The captain managed to cover his tracks. This large box must contain the documents you are searching for. I hope the officer doesn't keep the key. I don't see how we could steal it from him. He may have left it somewhere. Come, let's continue searching.
Here's a document that could be useful. They're meeting with the buyers. Then we should go there. He won't be able to deny it if we catch him red-handed. There's a risk that he will react violently, but we have no other choice. Let's go then. I know this place. It is further down the road, near a large tree. Here we are. This is the tree that was mentioned. Let's hide while we wait for them to arrive. Well, Captain, you have some peculiar friends for a man who obeys the Alliance. You? What are you doing here? We stumbled upon some strange documents and wanted to see for ourselves if there was any truth to them. Sorry, my friends. If you want our shipment, then we need to get rid of this nosy legate. Captain, you are making a great mistake. All we want is to negotiate. We want the body of my mother. I would never have thought that you would dare to attack allies of the congregation. <laughs> it seems to me that you were the one who attacked. How did you put it? This nosy legate. Had you simply listened to us, Captain, this fight would not have taken place. All we wanted was for you to respectfully deliver the body of the Queen to her village. And will you stay silent about what you saw? We're neutral. Trading amongst yourselves does not concern us. In that case, very well. I'll return to the outpost and ensure it's done. Now I would like for us to return to my village. I am eager to reunite with my sister. In that case, let's return to Vedrais. to exchange. again, you know where to find me. Bird tear to mud. Why are you wearing the same clothes as a Renaixe?
a sift. Our mother. I know, Siora. And divorced here, say. Some men delivered her remains here. They said that it was thanks to you. And the Renaigze legend. Thank you. We will be able to pay homage to our mother. Why are there mind shakers here, Aselt? I meant to tell you about it. They came saying that our mother had made an agreement with Teleme. But Mater did not tell me about it. She didn't say anything to me either. I do not like this, Iselt. These people want to drive us away from the land. I know. But we need help after the defeat. And they say that she made a promise set in stone. The spirits of the people of our village would have to go to the light, and in exchange they'd help us against the lions. This is impossible. Mater would never have done such a thing. They are lying, I'm certain of it. They may be. But if there really is a promise set in stone, we cannot break it. And we will have to bury our mother according to their rituals. We must verify it. I will not stand there while these mind shakers take our village. Siora, Asir, always with your new friends. Vertir to Madiseld, I'm happy to see you. What do you want? Thanks. Goodbye, Asad. Hello, my child. What a pleasure to see someone come to us with such eagerness. Do you want to hear the word of Saint Matthias and come into the light? Not really, Father. My name is Desarde. I'm the legate of the Merchant Congregation. Nice to meet you, Your Excellency. What can we do for you? What exactly do you hope to do in this village? Well... Bring light to these naive souls, of course. When we spread the word of Saint Matthias, I'm sure they will embrace our faith with fervor. Anything else, my child? I must leave you. May the enlightened... Good day, Onomanawi. Carantz, do you need something? 
I'm sorry about what happened to your mother. How are you feeling? Unwell. I am angry. And I feel an immense void within me. I blame myself for not having been on this battlefield with her. I understand and I'm really sorry. I wish I could have arrived here in time to prevent this war. Thank you, Honol Manawi, but it was too late. I should have realized this and stayed by my mother's side. Anything else? I must leave you. See you later.
Desarde, I have very. I mind this. You the, the, I when I admit about and you, you want mine. But could you? Another. I. I must. Carans, do you need something? Do you have anyone, a friend perhaps, whom you can talk to in this trying time? I usually confide in my sister, but she's suffering too. And I think she resents me for not having been there when our mother needed me. Is there anybody else you feel close to? I have some friends at the village, but they are not by my side at the moment. I wish they were. Anything else? I must leave you. See you later. You have returned. The rule is still. If I cannot enter, Glendon, you only. How can I prove? If you are, I will dead. I will return. If.
Hello. Do you need a doctor? Do you have many wounded? Yes, too many. And many will die. We don't have enough supplies to heal them all. I'm sorry, Doctor. Anything else? Good luck, Doctor. Your Excellency, what do you want? I'll leave you, Captain. Your Excellency. Renoixe, what do you want? Carantz, do you need something? I must leave you. See you later. Siora, Asir, always with your new friends. Bertir to Madiseld, I'm happy to see you. What do you want? Could you tell me about Siora? You are right there, and you let him talk about you like this. 
A seer? That's a strange friend you have there. Perhaps I wanted to hear how you'd reply. Perhaps, but I don't like this. Did you want anything else? Thanks. Goodbye, Sard. 